Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's so great to have you guys. I also wanted to welcome all of my brand new subscribers and anyone who's randomly coming across this video. It's so great to have you guys. So for today's video, what we're going to be doing is going over how to cure an RI in lizards. And if you don't know what RI is, that stands for respiratory infection. And this goes for most lizards. So let's get to it. Alrighty you guys, so when it comes to RI, there can be a URI and an LRI. And what that means is an upper respiratory infection or a lower respiratory infection. Both can be mild, but both are just as serious and need to be taken care of immediately. Some lizards have been known to die within three days of actually noticing symptoms. So this is not something to be taken lightly. Respiratory infections are usually caused by high humidity levels. And some lizards have a harder time with this than others. Bearded dragons are usually the most lax when it comes to this. They still can get respiratory infections, but they're not going to get a respiratory infection as easily as a uromastix will, for example. And so in layman's terms, what a respiratory infection is, is the growth of bacteria in the lungs. So before we get into how to treat a respiratory infection, both upper and lower, let's actually go over what it looks like to have a respiratory infection, so that way you can catch it if it occurs with your lizard. So the first sign that you will notice is hard breathing. It's unnaturally hard breathing as if the lizard has been running around or just had a really hard workout. This is also accompanied with open mouth breathing which shouldn't be mistaken for gaping. Something that I call snuffling which they don't have the ability to cough because they don't have that reflex in there but they can make kind of a little tee sound but it's not comfortable it looks as if they're sneezing there's like this little noise that comes out as if they're sneezing because they're trying to clear that mucus from their lungs if you put them close to your ear while they breathe they will have this clicking sound because of the mucus that's in their nose and lungs and everywhere else another sign is liquid coming from their mouth or nose and another huge indicator is pay attention to when they go to sleep if they are sleeping with their head up and switching around a lot while they sleep, that's them trying really hard to breathe and they're having a hard time breathing. And this means they have a respiratory infection. So that brings us to the final topic of this video and that has to do with the ways to cure it. There are three effective ways to cure a respiratory infection. I'm going to start with the most common form of curing it and go down to the least common way to cure it. So the first one is Baytril. This is most widely used. It is an oral medication and depending on your vet you can either get it where they make it, it's homemade by them, or you can get the one where they order it. So normally with Baytril you only need to give about three doses before they're cured. Make sure that the vet's office have weighed your lizard to make sure that they are giving the proper dosage for their weight because that is very important. When it comes to bigger lizards like bearded dragons for example, you can just slip the syringe in the side of their mouth and then they'll drink it easily. Now if you have smaller lizards like my Euromastix in this next clip, I had a really hard time getting her mouth open so I had to kind of use my nail to gently get her mouth open, prop it, and then I stuck the syringe in that way. When I first got her, she had an upper respiratory infection that was mild, and I ended up curing it with Baytrail. Unfortunately, the Baytrail that I used was homemade, so it took like a month and a half to cure with that medication, so please, please, please try to get a vet that doesn't use homemade. Betro. It'll be a lot easier that way, trust me. That brings us to number two, which is a nebulizer. So this is actually something that I got off of beardeddragon.co along with the collodial silver I use to actually cure the respiratory infection. This is not what I used to cure my Euromastix URI, but it is very effective and I have it on hand just in case. So collodial silver is actually an antiseptic. It can be used to cure things like yellow fungus on the skin, heal wounds, and a bunch of other things. Now there are a bunch of different types of collodial silver, but this specific one that is on beardeddragon.co is the one that I use and can be used to cure the RI. So all you do is 
unwrap the nebulizer, put the tubes together, connect it to the little part that has the collodial silver in it, attach a little nozzle, and then you put them in a small little box-like thing with a lid. It needs to have like a few holes for ventilation, but this way what it'll do is it'll fill it up with that vapor, which will in turn help get all of that mucus out. Number three is serapeptase. Now this, some people have tried to use as a cure, but really what it's meant to be used for is something alongside an antibiotic. Because what it does is it doesn't necessarily cure a respiratory infection, but it does thin out the mucus to help get that bacteria out of the lungs. It also has a lot of different other uses that I will list down here at the bottom so you can see them. All right, so that brings us to our last and final one. And this one isn't my favorite, but I am going to mention it because it has been known to cure this in the past, but it has never been something that a vet will tell you to do. Basically what these people did is they took a fogger, they put water in veterinary cleaner F10, which is a disinfectant spray, and used it to create a vapor for the snakes and lizards to breathe in to kill the bacteria in their lungs. I personally would not do this one. I would just do the collodial silver and nebulizer if you want to go that route. The idea of using a disinfectant that is meant to clean surfaces and having my lizard breathe it in does not sound healthy. Because think about it, it is equivalent to us breathing in the fumes of bleach and other stuff like that and just like sitting in a room of vapor filled with that and that just sounds horrible and toxic and just unhealthy. So again, not my favorite, has worked in the past, would 1010 not recommend. So that's all I have for you guys on how to cure an RI infection. I hope you learned something but stay till the end of the video because I will have bloopers. Trust me, you do not want to miss those. Hey y'all, I'm just gonna slide right in here and talk about the lizard of the week because I didn't totally forget to do that on Saturday morning when this airs. So the lizard of the week is Luna and their owner Kirsten. This is such a sweet boy. I just want to cuddle them and give them kisses and little beard pets. So congrats on that. And if you want to have your lizard be the lizard of the week be sure to send me those photos to my social media accounts if you're still watching be sure to like this video share this video subscribe if you haven't already check out my website www.lizardguru.com for all of these cool lizard things that are still available i ship everywhere also be sure to turn on the notification bell for this channel and my second channel alex's random entertainment to get all of her video updates i do things that aren't lizard related on my second channel if you're interested so as always from my family to yours i hope you have a wonderful wonderful week but first enjoy some bloopers <laughs> Hey, what's up with you? Can't even start up the video, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the video. So this is not something to be taken lightly. As much as I love their conversation about butt cheeks, it's making it really hard to frickin' do this thing we're doing. As easily as a Euromastics will, for example. All right. And a respiratory infection 